If you're looking for a budget minimalist productivity monitor, you came to the right place. In this video, I'm sharing with you my review of the Lenovo L22i. Not everyone is looking for a gaming monitor, so it's only fair that we take a look at something quite different from time to time. The Lenovo L22i features a clean looking 21.5 inch form factor with slim bezels, matte finish display panel, sleek rectangle stand with a built in smartphone stand and cable management slot at the back. Let me share with you my thoughts, so let's get into it. So inside the box, you'll get an HDMI cable, a power cable, the rectangle base with a built-in smartphone stand, a bunch of paperwork that includes the user manual, the support bar, and the display panel itself. Putting it all together is pretty straightforward. Just slide the support bar in like so, tighten the two less screw, line up and attach the base, and tighten yet another two less screw. If you want, you can tighten it further with a screwdriver. Now right off the bat, what strikes me the most is the minimalist design with a nice matte finish on the actual display panel. It features a 21.5 inch IPS display with a traditional 16x9 aspect ratio and as you can tell the bezels all around are fairly thin with a tad thicker bottom bezel. It also doesn't have any branding around the bezel making it really clean. On the lower right corner we have the buttons for the OSD controls and here at the base we have a built-in smartphone stand that should fit most smartphones even with a case. The base is made out of a combination of hard plastic and aluminum with a nice premium looking Lenovo logo. Looking at the back, we have another Lenovo logo right here, a ventilation strip across the entire width of the monitor, a 100 by 100 mm VESA mounting point, and a nice cable management slot on the support bar. We also have a Kensington lock slot right here and a good amount of ventilation at the bottom. In terms of the input and output ports, we have one HDMI 1.4 port, one VGA port, and a 3.5 mm audio out port. The power supply is built in inside the monitor. Overall, I like the design and construction of the Lenovo L22i with just one downside, which is the relatively limited adjustment option. The only adjustment that we have right here is tilting downward and upward up to negative 5 degrees to 22 degrees respectively. Not a big deal since we can easily mount this on an arm using the VESA mounting point. Now, the OSD navigation is fairly intuitive. Inside, we have the usual brightness, contrast, and other incremental adjustments, as well as the DCR, display presets, overdrive, free sync and other options. We also have color adjustment options including the low blue light feature and of course we have the input source and all the other miscellaneous settings. Now in terms of brightness, the Lenovo L22i is rated at around 250 nits but my particular review sample seems a little lower than that on this PC. I think it's more about some settings inside the OS that I can't figure out because I tried it also on my laptop and the maximum brightness is noticeably brighter, so yeah. Other than that, the display looks substantially decent. Looking at the specifications, it covers 72% of the NTSC color space and as per my own testing using the Spider X Pro color calibration tool, which by the way, I did use my laptop, thus the different desktop wallpaper. It's actually 70% NTSC, 93% sRGB, 72% Adobe RGB, and 75% P3 color gamut, which is decent enough for non-critical applications such as social media and web postings, especially considering the price. Although honestly, there are other monitors in this price range with better color accuracy. Also out of the box, the color calibration is significantly off as you can see in this quick on and off comparison. You can try and fix that via the OSD settings if you don't have a color calibration tool. Moving on in terms of eyeball testing, as you can see, there's no noticeable backlight bleeding at all angles which is nice and there are also no significant dark spots on the white background at all angles. Now thanks to the IPS panel, scrolling text doesn't have color shifting and the letters are quite sharp as well even when looking at an angle. Speaking of angle again thanks to the IPS panel, the Lenovo L22i has good viewing angles up to 178 degrees and as you can see, the colors are quite vibrant with decent contrast levels and just the right amount of sharpness and details. The contrast ratio is 1000 to 1 and although it's not as good as an OLED panel, the black still looks fairly solid here. I don't have any major issues with regards to the colors and overall image quality. I just hope that the actual color accuracy is higher than it actually is as well as the brightness levels. But other than those things that I've mentioned, the display is pretty substantial for most applications like I said for social media and web postings and casual media consumption. Now in terms of productivity, one thing that you have to consider is the fairly small size of this 21.5 inch display which to be honest is quite small by today's standard especially considering multitasking with multiple windows open. Editing photos is pretty decent with just a single window 
but for things like video editing with a fair amount of windows and panels, it's honestly quite cramped. Or maybe I'm just used to using an ultra wide monitor, so your mileage may vary, but that's just how I feel about the size of this monitor. By the way, this monitor has a native refresh rate of 60Hz that you can overclock to 75Hz. It's also an 8-bit monitor, which is not a surprise considering this is a budget monitor. Another thing is that it is not G-Sync compatible because you need a display port for that, or I think at least HDMI 2.1, which this monitor only supports HDMI 1.4. Aside from that, it has a response time of 4 milliseconds in extreme mode and 6 milliseconds in standard mode. Now, while those numbers are not the most ideal when it comes to gaming, I didn't encounter any significant issues when pushing the refresh rate up to 75Hz. Though, of course, the overall experience is still not comparable to a monitor with at least a 144Hz refresh rate. But keep in mind that gaming is really not the intended purpose of this monitor. This is more like a budget productivity-oriented monitor. So, align your expectations properly. However, I did enjoy playing some non-competitive FPS games like NBA 2K22. Again, the colors, contrast, details, and overall image quality are decent enough to enjoy a more laid-back game like this. Overall, in terms of my conclusion about this monitor, if you're looking for a simple and minimalist productivity monitor that doesn't take much space, and if you can get past its shortcomings like the limited adjustment options, average color accuracy, and brightness, the Lenovo L22i is still a unique option to say the least. This is good for small office spaces and work from home environment. At the end of the day, you have to consider what's available in relation to your budget and preferences. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. Thanks to Lenovo for sending this in, you can get this using the link below if you're interested. Again, thank you for watching, subscribe if you like this, and see you next time. Have a great day guys, you're awesome.